Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're doing well. Today I thought I'd take a leaf out of James from Chop's Garage and show you some of the less good news when it comes to car sales. This is a car I've had to buy back today from a customer who bought it in May, so January, February, March, April, May, June, last month pretty much. So um, the story with this is he came in, saw it, really liked it. We kind of did a little couple of little jobs, just kind of did a quick spray up on the wheels for him. Um, it's just under 100,000 miles. It's got two keys. It's got full service history and generally just a really nice car. It's really nice to drive. It's quite well equipped. Um, it's a bit dirty now, but inside you've got air conditioning, steering wheel controls. And yeah, I quite like these Picantos. I've got quite a few. Um, I might start buying them less now though. But the issue with this was kind of not apparent when we sold it really. It, we serviced it, we PDI'd it, um, I think we MOT'd it, we probably retopped up the air conditioning, everything was fine. And he took it away um, and came back a few weeks later and said, oh, I think um, I might be low on oil and we checked the oil and it was low on oil, almost completely out. And we thought, oh, that's weird. Wonder what's something that's happened there. Topped it back up for him again, came back a week later, zero oil in the car. And when I start this up in a minute, you'll probably see why, but it's a bit one of those strange ones. It wasn't really apparent at the time, but it's quite clearly burning oil now. So we think probably the piston rings are gone, maybe running low on oil and then being driven more um, has made it more apparent, but yeah, there's no, missing it now so we just said look, we haven't got time to fix it or anything like that so we'll just give you a full refund which is what we've done and now we have this car back and we have to decide what to do with it um on the whole though if we walk around it i mean i think there might be the odd little mark obviously it's quite dirty at the minute but it had obviously it just has mot and everything so good tires a bit of a ding there which i'll be honest i don't think that was there when we sold it to be honest but it's just the way it goes, isn't it? This is the other problem with if you ever have to buy back a car, you can't really, I suppose you can say, well, we need to do that money for that, but it's, you know, not something you really want to do, is it? Um, yeah, on the whole, it's actually quite tidy. I really like the red. I don't imagine the zip ties around the wing mirror were are doing either. Jordan's shaking his head at me, but um, yeah, a couple of little things to sort out, but the main issue is the fact that this is burning oil. So it runs nicely, as you'd expect. No real issues. I don't expect, is it smoking back there at the moment, John? Okay, it needs to warm up really. Smoking now. And you can see probably from the ground that it's actually spitting oil out. Yeah, I'm going to leave that running because it does become more apparent, but you can see on the ground let it's quite hazy here because it is smoky, but you can see that it's spitting out oil. We think it probably has to be the rings because nothing else is going to let oil pass that quickly. It's just strange that it happened so quickly because it wasn't really doing it when we had it. Unless someone had put some really thick oil or oil stabilizer, like a Lucas type thing, which people will put in cars to kind of hide things like that, noises, whatever, because it's so thick and gloopy. And that was kind of creating a bit of a seal around the piston rings. And then we serviced it and then it's become apparent. Quite likely, especially as this came from auctions, someone's just tried to hide something. We'll leave it to warm up for a minute because uh, it does get quite smoky. Like there's no avoiding it. You wouldn't suspect it looking under here, would you? It looks lovely. This is why looking under the bonnet doesn't really ever tell you very much, does it? Everything is really nice and clean in here. With our dinky little battery. Pretty sure my buggy at the farm's got a bigger battery than that. Like I say, it all sounds like it's running nice. No weird noises. Nothing really there to tell you that this thing's toast.
It does get smokier, yeah, but we'll let it warm up a minute. It doesn't seem to be smoking quite as heavily as it has been, but you can see just it's absolutely just spitting pure oil out the back. Uh, so that's never a good sign, is it? Well, it doesn't seem to be making as much smoke as it was earlier, but I can tell you it absolutely stinks of oil. Um, so what are our options with this? The easy option would be to just send it back to auction, trade we buy any car or something like that. Um, or fix it. We don't really have the time to fix it at the moment, but in a few weeks time, if not a couple of weeks time, we have our new mechanic starting and we could take the head off, um, strip the head down, do a new chiming chain, things like that. So we'll have a fresh timing chain. We could do new piston rings if we can get them. This is the next problem being Kia. Can we get parts? Um, it seems to be harder and harder getting parts for certain cars. Cars you wouldn't expect it to be tricky to get parts for. Um, like Daihatsu's, we just can't seem to get parts for. Even some Ford stuff is really struggling to get things like piston rings and whatever. They just want to sell you a whole new engine. Um, and this particular engine, if it was an older Picanto, I could pick up an engine for about a couple hundred quid and you'd sling one and out of it in a day. But we're not going to do that with this being the newer engine this is a 2013 so anything i think from 2011 or 12 onwards is a newer engine and they're about eight nine hundred pounds so worst case scenario we could still do that um luckily we had a fairly decent margin in this car to start off with we sold this for about four thousand pounds um i can only get about 1100 quid trade auction for it as it is um so worst case scenario if i had to you know lose a few hundred quid it wouldn't be the end of the world but ideally we'd like to try and save it and still make a profit i don't know exactly what's going to happen at the moment it's going to go on the truck tomorrow and get put out the farm put on the back burner with all the other dead cars and we will get around to it as soon as we can with the other mechanic um and it won't be going anywhere until it either it gets worked on or we decide it's time to to clear it from our plate and just take a bit of pill sell it on and just accept that you can't win them all. So yeah, I don't know what that would be. I might do an update video. If I don't, I'll do a post on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, shifting underscore metal, I will put it on YouTube shorts as well. But if you follow me on Instagram, you get loads more behind the scenes, what's going on, stories, things like that, that I don't normally always post to YouTube. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Please do give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please do subscribe. If you're not, thank you for continuing to watch and I'll see you next time.